Last time on RPG Pals Club Animal Crossing, we met our heroes, Pete, the Eagle, Sagat, the Moy Tiger, and Squirrellock, the detective, residents of Park Boypids, who have fallen into a, a mysterious case of a journal that is written on, uh, of a journal that is filled with nookstop paper containing love letters that seems to have a source that is not found on this island. Now, with special dispensation from Tom Nook, they head to Dodo Airlines to see if they can find the truth about the mystery and whatever other mysteries exist. <laughs> So you all make your quick trip down to Dodo Airlines. I, I think I think on the, the way there, I say, uh, who are the letters to? Did did the letters have any uh recipient, or was it just like nameless? It's to my secret crush. Unfortunately, it seems as though they've used an alias for the recipient of these letters, so that's not going to be much help there. How clever. And as you go in, uh, you see Orville standing behind the desk. He says, well, hi, everybody. Would you like to go on a trip? We can go and bring you to a nice nook island and have you go take a mystery tour. Or if you want to take pictures with Harvey, we can send you to Harvey's Island. Did, uh, did Nook give us any sort of uh, indication of where we were actually supposed to go? Or was it just like, go? Uh, yeah, he, he gave you a special ticket. He uh, gave us a special ticket. We've got the golden ticket. <laughs> yeah. And so you hand it over? Yeah. Huh. Uh, are, are you sure you want to use this ticket? You have no choice. We've got a mystery to solve. All right. Wilbur, we got some uh, walking boys who want to go and fly. And Wilbur comes out and invites you on to his seaplane. And you soon take off. And the flight itself seems very quick and you soon see yourself flying over another town where it is a beautiful spring day And Wilbur says, we are now flying over Poop Butt Island. The current weather is sunny. It is 6 p.m. Uh, we are going to be making a landing in the water, but that is all right because this is a seaplane. I always imagined that Wilbur sounded like H. John Benjamin. <laughs> oh, well, hey, is this like H. John Benjamin enough for you? Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Orville. 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 Danger zone. <laughs> I hate all of you. <laughs> but yes, you have landed on Poop Butt Island. And as you get off, Orville says, Have a wonderful time on Poop Butt Island. Wonderful town name. I'm, I'm doing stretches on the dock after being cramped up in the plane. Yeah, I am too, but like, not, yeah, I'm like, he's just kind of unwinding because he's, you know, he hasn't slept in the best places and his back's kind of messed up. So. Just mm -hmm. a little unwinding a little bit. Yeah. I bet Pete likes to fly using his own wings. <laughs> he is an eagle after all. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I didn't want to, like, uh, you know, I didn't want to waste my arm energy. I wanted to save it for the adventure we're on. Of course. All that arm energy will be surely spent better here. Yeah. On Poop Butt Island. <laughs> and, like, as you get off the dock, 
This island is beautiful. Like, there is a gate that you walk under. There's flowers lining the streets. There's actual streets on here. Like, there are things that are paved. For such an atrocious town name, this place surely is. Much nicer than our own, huh? A lot nicer. Clearly all the effort went into the rest of the island and none in the name. And yeah, so uh, you all have your phones on you if you want to use a map and try and look up things about this island. This is the Eagleton to our Pawnee, isn't it? (laughs) (laughs) Or the Shelbyville to our Springfield. Yes. Yes, I will try to use my uh, phone to see the map of this place. Uh Uh-huh. Or yeah, what's where? Uh, yeah, so the town hall is, like, directly in front of you. There's a, like, much kind of further off residential, uh, section, or, like, two sections of, like, two rows of five houses each on different parts. There's a, like, shop and a museum district that's over on the southeast of the island. And then you just see, like, lots of trees that have been orderly planted and like other sections of the map that you weren't even sure could exist like oh here's a place that looks like it has a bunch of like carnival rides and balloons and things set up have a carnival here oh my god carnival I'm I'm already investigating the carnival. No, no, we have we have to at least solve the mystery, and then we can go for a carnival day. Well, how do you know that the mystery's not in the carnival? Fair enough. <laughs> and yeah, there's like a Ferris wheel here. There's a jungle gym. There's music playing in the background, and there is a uh, there's a civic normal lavender alligator who is here. Oh, hi. How are you doing? I'm Soyak. I haven't seen you around here. You must be new. We're, uh... Yeah, we're from the next island over. We're, uh... You'll never find a better bug catcher than me. <laughs> Just doing a bit of visiting, uh, investigating. Oh. Horrible days. Hi. I didn't see you, Saget. I just start flexing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a twin? I thought I saw you over there. <laughs> I look, is there another Sagat? Yes, there is. <laughs> and just an existential crisis runs through my veins. <laughs> I have to, uh, I have to challenge them in a bug catching contest. I have to establish who is the better bug catcher. Are you heading over there? Yes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> if we touch, the universe will implode upon itself. <laughs> Are you sure you don't just have a, a twin you didn't know about? One who seems to have all the exact same. Markings and interests as you. This uh, Saget is wearing, or this Sagat is wearing a uh, different exercise outfit. It's his player two! <laughs> this is the player two costume. Oh my god. That, that has to be the answer. All right, so you come over. Uh huh. Yeah, and I just, I just go, you! Howdy, Rudy! I don't like this one. This one isn't me. 
I think this one's broken. <laughs> I just, I just turned around. <laughs> Howdy, Rudy. I'm Sagat. I'm the greatest fighter on this island. I'm really great at catching bugs. This is upsetting. A dark mirror. <laughs> God, they're exactly the same. <laughs> Do you like my green warm-up jacket? It was a gift. I do like the green warm-up jacket. <laughs> I just, I go to touch the jacket, and then uh, I just go, you have really, you have really nice muscle definition. Thanks. You've been working on that. This jacket brings it out. You have really nice muscle definition, too. Yeah, and I, I just, I just go, thanks. These trunks bring out my muscle definition. And then I flex. He flexes too. Yeah, we're both flexing now. <laughs> it's my god. It's it's like uh when Armstrong met that the uh, the other strong guy in the <laughs> It's just various strongman poses. <laughs> it's it, it is going to be a nightmare to try to get between that. Pete, I'm sorry to say we might have just lost the gun. <laughs> Oh no! All right. Well, we can still keep it. Vet- Hold on. Maybe we. Maybe the the book is Universe B Sagatzes. I try to uh, read some of the notes to see if they have any markings of somebody who is very interested in uh, muscles or bugs or muscles. Fighting or rock climbing. <laughs> Making out with yourself from another universe. Uh, <laughs> Neither one of us will be versions. Uh, roll me uh, two fashion. Uh, both fashion. of us. Uh, if you want to assist, also, uh, roll one fashion, Pete. All right, I'll roll. I rolled a five. I got a one and a five. All right, so that's another luck for you, Squirrel Lock. Uh, <laughs> your roll does not help. Nope. <laughs> Too busy okay. looking at the rippling muscle wave in front of you. Yeah. Uh, there is nothing for the muscle wave. It is pure hormone energy. <laughs> They're too powerful, the ripples. <laughs> I have a feeling that this isn't, uh, Universe B Sagat's notes. Hmm. As you can see, there are no letters about bugs, bug catching, or working out. So I'm going to go ahead and say that's not going to work. There's nothing about really hot, spicy food either. Exactly. Or purring. The tigers purr? I don't think so. They they do. Yeah. They definitely do. <laughs> yeah, they, oh God. yeah, they can. Oh, God. All right, so Pete and Squirrel Lock, uh, uh, Sagat is distracted by this. Where do you want to head? I guess the other nook stop. To see, like, if, you know, the, 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 the corporate rules on Nookstop stationary are the same in different universes. Mm-hmm. Ah, good idea. Excellent. So y'all head over there and the nook stop here is nicer. If nothing else, it has like decorations outside of it and the road that's leading to it. And you get inside and Timmy and Tommy are there and they're like, Hi, welcome to our nook stop. Stop. <laughs> Hello, Timmy, Tommy, again. Oh, what do you mean again? I believe you're new to this island. Uh, I expl- uh um, hmm. I was going to say, like, there could be a badge or something like Pete chose to say, no, I work with the Nook Stop. I, I go with the Trent and like, you know, this is this, in all the dimensions. I know I'm going to sh- uh, work at Nook Stop. Um, so I'm like, hey, uh, do you know where we can get some of this stationery? And he shows it to uh, Timmy and Tommy. Oh, yes. If you work at the Nook Stop, you should have access to it. Where did you find this? No, no. It was on the floor back on our island. Oh. Well, can I have the rest of the book? Book? Is it your book? Yes, this is my book. 
book. Oh, if it's, if it's your book, then yeah, you can have it. I sort of, uh, I, I begin to hold it out to them, but then I kind of pull it back and be like, you did do a bit of reading on what's inside this book. You want to tell us maybe a generalized statement about what's inside? Timmy turns to Tommy. Ah, this is my private book, where I write letters that I never send. Oh. Send. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what, do you like a reward? Yeah. Sure, yeah. They both pull out a large bag of bells. 20,000 bells each. Oh my god. In hand, one bag to each of you. Ah! Thank you! And, and like, uh, a Pete immediately pockets it. I will return the book and do the same, but I still feel like there's more to discover. Well, if there's anything else we can help you with, let us know. No! Uh, what kind of items are for sale in this nook stop? Uh, so no one has gotten the specialty furniture today. Uh, it looks like there is a slide, a swimming pool, a bunk bed, uh, as the special items. And then there is a, uh, also the same rotan waste basket that was being sold on your island and a electronics kit. Okay. Um, I, I, I flash my, like, you know, nook... Uh, Nook ink badge or whatever and be like, hey, uh, can I just like check out the back real quick? I know, you know, you guys got like keep some secret items in the back. And I work at, you know, Nook's up on the next island over. So I'm just, you know, want to get a head start on the next day's inventory. Is that cool with you guys? Roll uh, 2d6 for fashion. I rolled a six and a two. All right. So uh, you have one success on there. Okay. Uh, They say, "Uh, if you need to, I just need to hold on to your badge. Sure. And I I, uh, let let him have the badge for a second. And I'm going to go just take a quick look for, uh, well, I mean, he'll give it, you'll give it back to me when I come back out, right? It's like collateral. Yes. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to take a quick look in the back. I'm going to shoot a look to uh, Squirrel Lock. Just like a little, hey, in case these little fuckers, like, you know, try to pull a fast one, just punt them to the moon, and I go check the back. I give uh, uh, Pete a little nod when he shoots me the look. Uh, yeah, what are you expecting to see in the back of the store? Real, I'm just looking for any, like, crazy plot bullshit that's like, this town isn't what it seems. Just to double check that it's like just a normal Nook Stop, you know, inventory thing. Yeah, it's a normal Nook Stop inventory thing out there. Oh, okay. While Pete's back there, I kind of turn to the little Nooks and I'm like, So, I have a bit of a question regarding the book that I returned to you. Yes, yes. How did it get on our island? Maybe somebody picked it up on our island and then took it over to your island and dropped it off uh, thinking, thinking. We have been having many visitors. Do you know if your mayor perhaps visits uh, Park Boypins occasionally? I don't follow their travels. Travels. We don't necessarily have a mayor. Mayor. Don't have a mayor. No, that kind of got done away with a few generations back. Back.
explains. Well, this Nook Island is a proprietary design by the Nook Corporation. Tom Nooks generate the islands and find people to move onto them. Onto them. Hmm. There is no actual government. It is a self-sustaining body. Body. So no little furless boy or girl arrived to make the island nicer, per se. Oh, you mean the humans. Humans. Yes. No, we have them living on here. Here. Ah, interesting. And that's when Pete comes back out and it's like, yep. All right, we got, well, make sure we got plenty of that for uh, when we start work tomorrow. It's got a couple orders to place. Uh, how are things out here? Oh, things are going all right. All right. That's good. Just asking a couple of questions. Yeah. They seem to be all in order. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, glad we could return your book. Uh, is is Squirrel Lock ready to leave? Yeah. I don't, don't think there's much left to, to figure out exactly. Okay. Uh, I ask for my uh, Nook Ink badge back. He returns the badge to you. Here you go. Go. Thank you. All right, thanks. Uh, let's head out. And I guess we gotta go get Sagat. Sagat <laughs> back, our our our, ta- our tiger, tiger. Yeah. yeah, our boy tiger. <laughs> our boy tiger back from himself. I'm yeah. curious if there are alternate versions of Sagat. There must be alternate versions. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, you can look on the map to see if there are. Yeah, while we're walking back, I will look on the map to see who exactly is in this town. Uh, there's Jeffrey, who is a cool, normal, medium orchid sheep. There is Ramsey, who is a natural peppy moccasin bull. There is Gregor, who is a rustic uchi medium purple bird. There is Theo, who is a historical, lazy, blanched almond mouse. There is Gogo, who is a rustic, lazy, dark magenta gorilla. And there is... Pin, who is a harmonious, snooty khaki deer, along with Sagat. Okay. It seems like Sagat's the only one that has a twin here. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, Sagat has uh, won an eye patch from one of those things where you, you hit the mallet or uh, against uh, the, the, le- uh, the, 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 the lever, and then you try to hit the bell. Yeah, the strongman test. <laughs> yeah, the strong. He's won one of those, and now he is riding uh the uh the uh Ferris wheel with himself. <laughs> They're just having a, a fun time together at the the carnival. Yeah, they even got cotton candy because it's cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best day ever. <laughs> Well, uh, Pete, looking at this, it's like at, at first size because it's a cranky villager. But then it's like, well, I mean, I guess you know, at least it wouldn't hurt to go one time around before we head back home. And then he gets on the Ferris wheel. <laughs> and as you're going, are you going to mention that you got paid and that the mystery is solved? Uh, yeah, we probably should. Yeah, are we going with uh, Sagat? Yeah, the, the Sagat. <laughs> Yeah, we we both look at the same time. <laughs> and as you open up your bags of bells that you got, blue paint explodes out of them.
coating the both of you in blue paint. Oh. Mm. <laughs> and, uh... It appears we have been had. Yeah. And both of y'all roll animal. I think that uh, Sagat is still distracted right now. Uh, and you get to roll 2d6 for this. Alright. Uh, I rolled a 3 and a 2. I rolled a 6 and a 5. <laughs> okay. So, Pete, you get a luck point for your roll. You had one success. Squirrel luck, your senses are very, very toned. And so you hear first, before Pete does, the sound of a helicopter flying towards you all. And inside is a very angry looking mole. Oh. Ah! Uh. Is this this Rossetti guy that I see memes about a lot? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. (laughs) And uh, you notice that he is not... Uh, actually piloting this. It's being piloted by someone else. And Rossetti has a sniper rifle. What? Oh uh, my god. <laughs> Excuse me? Duck. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm going to use, I'm going to flip one of the uh, carnival stands a, a, over for cover. Uh, aren't you still in the Ferris wheel? Yeah, we're in the Ferris wheel. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Y'all are in the Ferris wheel. Well, uh, no, they stopped me so they could show me their money. Uh. 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 If one of you spends a luck point. I have so many luck points. Yeah, you can spend I, a luck point. I only have one. I'll, I'll spend a luck okay. point. Uh, so, Squirrel, you, you spend one of your three luck points, so you're down to two. Yep. Uh, Pete, you have one. Sagat, you have one. Yep. Uh, okay, so you're not currently, but there is uh, a carnival... There is a second Sagat who seems to also be concerned about uh, the sniper-wielding mole as a shot whizzes by. Oh, let me know what you all want to do. Uh, I want to uh, flip one of the stands over for cover. Mm-hmm. Uh, that From the sniper rifle? Yes. Uh, okay. Yep. Roll me 2d6 for animal. Heck yeah, I will. Uh, and I rolled a six and a six. All right, uh, that is two successes. You're able to flip over the stand and get behind it, uh, providing cover for you, and you get to pick one other person. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, pick Squirrel Lock up by their tail and behind the stand. Ah, oh, that's fine, thank you. Okay, uh, Pete, what are you doing? Uh, I am also, uh, so is there anything else I can, like, hide behind for cover? Uh, yeah, what do you want to try and hide behind? Um, I'm going to try to hide behind uh, a, a different one of the stands. Okay, yeah, it's just like an item stand and there are, like, two insect statues that have been put into the stand as sort of a decoration. Okay. Uh, yeah, so roll me an animal check with 2d6 to hide. All right. Uh, I rolled a two and a four. All right. Uh, that is one success. Uh, you get behind, but one of the insect statues is, like, shot through as they knew that you were behind that stand and squirrel lock. Uh-huh. What do you want to do? You are behind with Sagat. Uh, the other Sagat is still out there. Oh no. Confused and worried. Uh, well, while this is happening and I've been picked up by my tail to uh, hide behind this uh, stand that Sagat has so uh, nicely tipped over as cover, I'm going to open up the- uh, I'm a big strong boy. <laughs> big strong. <laughs> Thank God I brought you along. This is what I needed <laughs> you for. Uh, I'm going to open up the bag of bells that mm-hmm. had exploded uh, and I'm going to- Try to see what exactly happened. Uh, there was a gas canister. They, uh, Timmy or Tommy probably sent a signal out, and so when you opened it up, it exploded on you. You know, like, banks have the, uh, gas paint cans in case people steal money from them. Okay. I'm gonna take the gas can out. Is it still kind of spewing? Or is uh, it done? It, it's, it's done, mostly. Okay. Uh. And you do have two points, so you can summon items into existence. True. Uh, I'm gonna take the gas can, even though it is finished, and, uh, my slingshot, Mm -hmm. and attempt to use that to sling it 
at our fucking sniper. All right. Uh, this is going to be a animal check. Roll me 2d6. <laughs> so I roll two ones. So you are trying to do it. You are not very good at shooting. And so other Sagat gets hit in the head with the canister. Oh, no. Uh, and uh. falls unconscious. Sorry. Sorry about that. Myself! <laughs> Oops. And so the helicopter is moving closer towards y'all. What do you want to do? Uh, can I take the slingshot uh, and try to I mean, make a shot? You have your own slingshot if you want to use that instead. Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. do that. What are you yeah. going to try uh, and shoot? Uh, what's in this? What's in the in this carnival stand that I could launch? Uh, you are behind a cotton candy stand. Okay. Well, that's not going to be helpful. <laughs> Unless I want to pick up the machine itself and throw it at the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring down the entire thing. I don't think that's going to work, but who knows? I mean, there's powdered sugar. You could just shoot the box of powdered sugar at them. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Let's... <laughs> uh, roll me 2d6. Okay. Uh, this is animal. Hopefully it explodes on impact. All right. Uh, well, I got a three and a five. All right, that is going to be two successes. Uh, you shoot up the box of, uh, cotton candy confectioner sugar, and it hits the window, so the, uh, helicopter is flying less steadily now. Don't I get a luck point as well? Uh, your number is two. You got a three and a five? Uh, yes. Yeah, so you don't get a luck point. Well, I thought, I thought my beast was three. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, yours is two. So whenever you roll a two, you get a luck point. Oh, my, my, my fashion is two, but this was using animal. No, uh, for animal, you want to roll over. Yes. You want to roll two or over. For fashion, you want to roll two or under. It's the same number. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So helicopter is less in control now as they're trying to get the sugar off. And you see, like, strands of, uh cotton candy floss starting to form because helicopters are hot. And the helicopter blades. <laughs> <laughs> Make them sticky. Pete or squirrel lock. Uh, so I'm behind like an insect stand, right? Uh, it's like a basic table with a cover over it. And then there is one remaining insect model. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to use my slingshot to fling the insect model mm -hmm. at Rossetti. It's an orchid mantis. Okay. Lots of sharp points. Mm -hmm. But it also looks very cool. Roll 2d6 for animal. Oh, I rolled double twos. I'm going to spend a luck point to make it a th make one of them a three. Okay. So you shoot the mantis and it hits. But unfortunately doing that, uh, but unfortunately when you do that, Rossetti takes another shot. And so the cover of the table is shot off. Okay. Like the awning -y top. Squirrel lock, it's your turn. Mm. Mm. You're also behind the cotton candy now with Sagat. Uh, is there any more of the confectionery sugar? Uh, nope, they only had one box. Oh my god, this place sucks. 
<laughs> Only one box for cotton candy? Uh, oh, we gotta try and get out of here. Got it. E- so we're at, like, the carnival area. Mm-hmm. Uh, where is, like, what's beyond it? Uh, so if you head back, uh, you're going to be crossing through the, uh, there's a river, and then once you get into that, there's the road to the, uh, residential area, and then the beach. And you need to head south to the beach if you're going to try and head back towards the airline to get out of here. Or if you head north, which is where the helicopter is coming from, uh, that gets you into the cliffs and the area that uh, the mayor or the villagers of this town have set up as their personal residential area. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying trying to think. I'm trying to think. Ah! Uh, You can also head over to the residential area across the river heading west. Or if you head back east, you head back towards uh, the uh, town square and the shopping district. So, also, quick question. Both Pete and I are like, we have blue dye on us, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Need to find cover and get this blue dye off of us. Got it. And then I I look for cover. (laughs) I guess. Well, we have cover. We have have cover. Perhaps we should head to other Sagat's house. Yeah. I mean, it's technically your house, too, I suppose. Uh, yeah, there might be a change of clothes. Exactly. Perfect. Conspicuous. A disguise. Uh, I will need animal checks from all of you. I'll let you roll three uh, d6. All right. Oh boy. Okay. Try to escape the sniper to make it to other Sagat's house. A four, a five, and a two. Four, six, one. Three, four, five. Uh, so can you all just let me know how many... Uh... Two. Uh, two successes. One success, and it is my number. Okay. Uh, so you all get over there without... Too much of a problem. Uh, the squirrel lock, I think your tail is big enough that they might have seen you uh, heading over towards the residential area. Oh no. But uh, you find Sagat's house because on the outside it looks just like Sagat's house. Everybody in. I know where the key is hidden. Oh, I mean, it's just unlocked. Yeah. Yeah, fair. <laughs> and so you go inside and uh, there is a wardrobe in there. Excellent. It's all sports clothes. Uh, There is a dragon suit, which is essentially the Bruce Lee Enter the Dragon uh, yellow suit, but it has a dragon on it. Nice. Uh, There is also in the closet a... uh, There is a green comedian's outfit, which is essentially a green shiny sports coat with a bow tie on it. Very nice. And then there is a frog tee, which is a, like, vanilla colored shirt. It's a vanilla ringer tee with green rings and a green friendly looking frog on it. Also very good. Mm -hmm. I like all of these things. Sweet. Very powerful choices. These are all gifts that have been given to this Sagat by the villagers. Probably an attempt to get him to wear a shirt. Oh, I, I really think with the Sagat design, like, the bands are actually just, like, color bands on him. hmm But, uh, yeah, I am personally a fan of just giving my villagers ridiculous stuff to wear. That's fair. Very powerful. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is a good look. Okay, so right. what are y'all 
taking. None of this is really my style, so I don't know. Just pick something for me, Sagat. You're wearing the comedian. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> You're wearing the, the comedian outfit. All right. Yeah, that's the most fanciest. Uh, I guess I'm taking the frog shirt. Perfect. That, uh, then I will disguise myself as Bruce Lee. <laughs> I do put my hat away and everything else. Uh, That's a completely different fighting style. I'll have to adjust. <laughs> well, you have some time while we get this die off of us, too. Mm-hmm. I assume he probably has. Oh, sure. <laughs> a secret bathroom? I don't know. Oh, these animal oh. houses. <laughs> well, no, I mean, these are all just one-room houses. They they never get bigger houses. But once you change, the uh, die is off of you. All right. Well, we just have to pretend we're not the ones that we were just getting shot at. You know what I mean? We have to pretend that we're the alternate universe versions of ourselves, because evidently that's a thing. Yeah. Also, this Sagat has two skeletons in the house. Oh. Instead of the, uh, instead of the punching bags. Disturbing. I'm, yeah, I, I, I make the startled face. Oh no. I, I go over and touch the skeletons to make them do the, the hand in the air thing. Woo! <laughs> All right. So, you're in other Sagat's house. You need to try and get off this island, or, I mean, theoretically, you could try and Stop Rossetti and see if that does anything. But... No, I want to get off this island. I want to go home to a terrible island. Right. I mean, we do have a, another mystery to solve now, and that's why would they do this to us? We return their book, and in return, they have set a sniper on us. Yeah, I'm going to kick some, Yeah, like, I think if the plan is to kick some tiny raccoon child ass, then I am, I am for that plan. I'm very sad. I don't want to beat up children. That's not a challenge. <laughs> I mean, they do have people working with them who have guns, so I mean, that kind of evens it out a bit. Yeah. I guess. All right, so. So we're paying those boys a visit again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll say that with your new disguises, that will get you over there without a challenge. Is the helicopter still kind of flying around? Uh, yeah, it's actually having to land now because you see that there's a giant ball of cotton candy on top of it. (laughs) Just like I planned. <laughs> <laughs> All according to Kaku. Bum, 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 bum. What's funny is, uh, I was very much debating I ain't getting on no plane <laughs> <laughs> before before we took our little flight. Well, well, here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are, juggernaut. Uh, yeah, as you are heading over, though, uh, a villager, a human, runs over and says, and, uh, comes to talk to you. Oh. Uh, specifically, he comes to talk to Pete. Oh. You know, he's trying to, like, keep his hands in his pockets, keep a little profile, he's like, what do you want? Uh, he's like, this is for you! And he, uh, looks for a few seconds through something that you can't see, and then he hands you a, uh... What is he going to hand you? Uh, he hands you a bunny day wand. It is a stick with a Easter egg at the end of it. It's like, oh, thanks, kid. Yeah. Um, and uh, he, he, he just walks on. It's like getting a little pat on the back. He's like, yeah, here you go. And then he flicks a bell toward him. Just, just one singular bell. <laughs> thanks, kid. <laughs> the villager pockets it and then runs up to Sagat. I say, uh... Uh, howdy doody it's me sagat <laughs> i'm still i'm still trying to be in disguise <laughs> he says this is for you and had you a bonfire
I put it in my pocket. <laughs> I guess. I clap. <laughs> just just one, one clap. big... Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so he, he, like, accepts that you aren't going to give him anything, and then he... Oh! Oh! I d- is that what I'm supposed to do? Again, I've never played Animal Crossing. I mean, they don't always give you things back. Like, it's usually some random item that they have, or bells. Oh! Or nothing. Uh, well, I'm not giving away my eye patch, but I will give away some cotton candy that I had. Fair. Okay. And then he uh, runs up to you, Squirrel Lock. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. Hi! And he says, this is for you. Wow, thanks! And he hands you large cardboard boxes. I do like the surprised emoji <laughs> face. And I'm like, I know just where I'll put this! And I put it in my my pocket, and I do like the happy, happy little... What is it? The flower happy the, like, face? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much! Here, take some bells! And I just hand him, I don't know, just some bells. All right. And you... you... Uh, hiding your crimes by giving them the uh, the paint-stained bells? No, I need those. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping those. He's getting some regular-ass bells. This is... He gave me a cardboard box. Highly appreciated. Mm-hmm. And the moment this kid walks away, I'm just like, we never speak of that again. And so you, right? And so you head into the mayor's office. I switch. I switch my eye patch to the other eye. <laughs> Good. And so you make it all into town hall, and uh, the Tom Nook behind has the shocked expression, and then settles down as you come in, and he's just walking around with a coffee cup right now. Okay, I'm gonna take out my bug net, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna bonk him. <laughs> Uh, when you try and take it out, it immediately returns to your inventory. That's rude. I try to take it out again, like three or four more times. <laughs> <laughs> you are just physically incapable of it. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I, I get that. But just for the sake of the character, oh, I feel yeah, like yeah. that's what he tried to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Try and break reality. Yeah. So to- Tom Nook is in the story, yeah? Uh Tom Nook is in the town hall along... Oh, wait, you wanted to go to the Nook stop? I thought that's... Yeah, we were... Oh, yeah. oh, 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 okay, sorry, sorry about that. Oh, uh, yeah, you reach... Hey, no problem. So, yeah, you return to the Nook stop where Timmy and Tommy are like, Hi! Welcome back! Back! Do I have my... Can I have my bug net here? <laughs> no, you are incapable of pulling <laughs> weapons out in this building. <laughs> weapons! <laughs> I'm sorry. Bug net weapons. Uh... I take out the- That's why my hands are in my pocket. Those are classified as weapons. fists uh but yeah i take out the dyed bells bag Mm -hmm. i kind of toss it in the floor in front of them and be like care to explain uh roll a uh romy fashion uh roll 2d6 for fashion all right uh a one and a six so one is success uh yep so they both look at you and look at the bags and say oh you didn't like your prize? Prize? You know, no, I'm gonna go ahead and say no. I don't really appreciate being shot at by a sniper. Well, we don't enjoy you threatening to unravel reality. Reality. Threat to reality? Very much so. So. And how exactly are we a threat to reality? You shouldn't be able to change islands. Islands. But that's what the airplanes are for.
No, the airplanes are for humans. Humans. But our Tom Nook sent us here. I just look really confused at all of this. All of you, roll me 3d6 and let me know if you hit your uh, luck number. I did, because I rolled a two and two fives. Ooh. Nope, I rolled a five, five, and a six. Two's and a five, so I do hit my number. Okay. What horrible fate befalls me? Ah! No. Squirrel Lock and Sagat. Both of you start to see reality for what it actually is here. <laughs> As it becomes a series of zeros and ones. <laughs> oh no! I want, I want you to just imagine Sagat's eyes widening as code like crawls across it. And just, it, it just it's 2001 A Space Odyssey <laughs> just happening to him in real time. It's great. I'll never be the best bug catcher. The bugs aren't even real. And that is when this reality breaking Timmy and Tommy Hughes here, one to actually joined entity, say, No, you, you are the bugs. Bugs. As <gasps> you see them form claws that start to reach out towards you. Uh, the two of you also see that Pete seems to be made out of this coating as well. No, Pete. <laughs> Squirrel lock, you and Sagat. <laughs> are real. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Pete! I'm sorry we dragged you into this, Pete! Don't look in the book! Dark secrets. Uh, you, you see an amalgam of Pete and, you know, this, this code amalgam of Pete and you see him seemingly pull out his bamboo speaker out of nowhere and place it uh -huh. on the ground. The bamboo speaker suddenly starts playing Comfortably Numb by Pink Floyd. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Just to add to the scene. Oh my God. Are you clapping behind it? <laughs> You're just sitting there like... <laughs> Just doing the Animal Crossing meep, meep, mop, mop, yeah. singing to it. You're going to have to find a mix of that in like K.K. Slider Animal Crossing style to put in this. I'm too lazy to do it. You lost souls swimming <laughs> in a fishbowl. No, that's that's where you sent Luke to do that. <laughs> Luke, please. <laughs> meep, meep, moop, mop. <laughs> I'm just making a note here. <laughs> Comfortably numb KK slider. Okay. Uh yeah. So the uh twins the uh twintity looks and says just, I can't believe my uh, my poor dumb jock tiger has unwittingly become <laughs> a character in, in in a I guess very cozy uh Isekai? I, I, I was just gonna I was gonna say cosmic horror story. <laughs> I mean, this is more Matrix, if anything. Okay, fair. I mean, <laughs> fair. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, Sagat and Squirrel Lock, you have uh, respectively two and three luck points. You can use them to bend reality around here. What do you want to do with those points? Oh, God. Oh, what if I made more of me? <laughs> uh, how many more? <laughs> how many more can I make, Luke? <laughs> how many more do you want? Eight. Eight. <laughs> eight tigers. <laughs> <laughs> are they, like, you, like, Animal Crossing you? Or are they, like, you as in, like, real-ass tigers you? Yes. Eight more. It's so just, it's just, it's photorealistic. <laughs> tigers. It's eight more Sagats, but they're wearing the photorealistic tiger shirt. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> That's upsetting. And you see that these are coded, but you get the same vibe off of them that you got a, off of the Sagat on this island. Oh, also, uh, I want to note, they all have scorpions they're ready to unleash. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, giving them all scorpions is your second luck point. Yes. We're a lock. It's your turn. Okay. The question is, is this the, the twintity? Is it trying to get rid of us? Uh, you, you're pretty sure it is going to try and get rid of you. All right. Okay. Can I use one of my luck points to know you, this thing, and make it delete itself? Uh, yes. <laughs> the twintity is deleted. Deleted! <laughs> all of us clap. All right. <laughs> Pete claps, but in the time to comfortably numb by Pink Floyd. <laughs> he, he's like doing the little Animal Crossing dance that the characters yeah. do sometimes to the song. We are putting, we are putting our 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 weapons back in our pockets. All of the yeah. Sagats are putting scorpions away. <laughs> yeah, we're putting our scorpions away for uh, now. And you have two more <laughs> luck points, Squirrel Lock. I do. I kind of turn to both the Sagats. And mm -hmm. Pete, yes. because despite everything, Pete is still kind of my friend. Mm -hmm. my, There's my, nine total cigars. My associates. It appears that there is a mystery that I must uncover. A grander mystery than all of us. And I don't know what's going to happen to me, but I have to figure it out. I understand. We understand. All the cigars, we understand. Yes. I kind of nod, and I'd like to use another one of my luck points to escape the game. Okay, and there is one final luck point that then transfers down to the next person alphabetically, which would circle back to Pete. Pete, Yay. you have one luck point. Uh, I wish to make myself a real boy. <laughs> and Pete... Uh, you become fully sentient, a abomination of flesh and code. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, reality starts to warp, and uh, Pete, you vanish, and Sagat, you find yourself in the store floor, and Pete and a second Pete are there. The second Pete is repeat. Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Is he also a hideous flesh monster? Uh, no. There's oh. just two cranky rock and roll eagles that are navy blue with lollipops in their mouth wearing biker jackets underneath <laughs> aprons. And you see that this is a slightly more rock and roll themed store. It's actually named Pete Stop, like Pit Stop. Okay. The Pete Stop. <laughs> I understand everything now. <laughs> and you're getting a notification on your phone that something has changed on the map. Oh. And all eight, and eight of the neighbors have just been replaced with Sagats on this island. It's an all Sagat <laughs> island. <laughs> it's an all Sagat island. <laughs> with two Pete's as the, yeah. the store managers. Yeah. It's just me and just uh, eight other me's and we're hanging out, having a great time. Now I'm the mayor. No, there's just nine <laughs> others. The other one is the one whose house you invaded. You live on this island now. Yes. <laughs> So for those of you playing at home, there's original reality Sagat, there's uh, native to this island Sagat, and then there's the eight realistic tiger shirts with scorpion Sagats <laughs> of undone reality. It 
it's just a whole island of myself where I can admire my own muscles. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Everybody's just like, hey, Sagat, how's it going, Sagat? What's going on, Sagat? Things are going great, Sagat. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's just the reality I wanted. And we then cut to Squirrel Lock, who has landed on a street in the real human world. <laughs> All right, the question is, am I still, like, an Animal Crossing character, or am I, like, a real-ass squirrel? Oh, you are still an Animal Crossing character, and, like, people are kind of looking at you, but they're trying to ignore you, and there seems to be a lot of stores on this, uh, like, street that you're walking on. There's also, like, roads and cars, things that you haven't seen since you had moved out to your island, which you don't really remember things behind before that time very well, and the store to your right is advertising something that... Looks like it reads, erotic cakes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I was wondering when we get to the fetish portion of this recording. <laughs> and the Simpsons reference portion. <laughs> Interesting. So many mysteries to uncover. Where am I? And that is when the credits roll. Hello there, I've been Eric, a.k.a. Rhythm Bastard, and you can find me on my website, rhythmbastard.rocks. You can also find my music on Bandcamp at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com, and support me on Patreon every month at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. I'm Gina Dazer, you can find me online on Twitter at A-D-A-S-E-R, and on patreon.com at patreon.com slash gene underscore a dazer. I've been Sahoni. You can catch me on Twitter at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S-A-H-O-N-I underscore stuff, where I work as a game designer and podcaster. You can catch me on my other podcast, Barking Points Memo, which you can find at Barking Points on Twitter. It is a current events comedy podcast where we talk about the news and make jokes and try not to drown in existential dread. You can also catch me talking about on Twitter my own game, Exceptionals. Exceptionals is a game inspired by X-Men about the communities and spaces that marginalized people make for themselves. Uh, I say right on the cover as a tagline, it's a game about community, activism, and kinetic eye beams. I'm Madison. You can find me on Twitter at Quipster Rikuru. Rikuru is spelled R-I-K-U-R-U. And you can find anything else I'm up to post it over there. Hi, I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at frunding underscore loom. That's F-R-O-O-N-D-I-N-G underscore L-O-O-M. Hi, I've been Luke, your Game Master. You can also find me currently on the Multiversal Q podcast at multiversalq.com, where my co-hosts Devin and I are going through every issue and every story arc of the Ultimate Universe of Marvel Comics. Sam, Madison, and Janine, who is not on this podcast, uh, we've got a Pokemon thing coming up. If you follow my Patreon, I've got a promo of that up, or depending on when you're listening to this, uh, the the full established property Playhouse matinee uh, series might be starting. You can also find me on Twitter at, at Coltreg, that's K-O-L-T-R-E-G. Thank you again for listening to RPG Pals Club. We have a Patreon set up where if you donate money, you get things like early episodes when available, bonus content because we have some really weird outtakes and more. If you don't have money because we're living in a hellscape right now that we might not know if it's ever going to end, uh, we have a Twitter where you can send us words. We have a Discord that you can join and join our shenanigans, uh, catch some Pokemon on that. And always, if you are enjoying this podcast, please tell a friend, write a review that helps other people find us. Drop links to us if you're ever on the uh, social media. Thank you very much. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Catch you next time on RPG Pals Club.